The Edinburgh Festival Fringe is now in full swing, and over the next few weeks, some three and a half thousand performers from some 60 countries will be showcasing what's billed as the world's greatest celebration of the arts and culture. Artists range from the complete unknown to established stars featuring music, theatre, comedy and dance. Now, for the first time in three years, the China Culture and Arts Festival is back in town, with the former Lord Provost, or Lord Mayor of Edinburgh, introducing the show. So the Chinese-Scottish link is, is very important. It's in many ways more important than it's ever been. We have a great Chinese community in Edinburgh, and, uh, but also the festivals are a platform for showing the best in all cultures. So it's an opportunity uh, to both educate and entertain. This year, the event has been renamed the China Britain Arts and Culture Festival, featuring performers from the Shanghai Yugo Arts Troupe, offering a mix of traditional dances and unique musical instruments. The bamboo flute is another traditional instrument. Um, I have never played my instruments outside China, and I feel very excited and magic. Uh, I want to introduce Chinese music to everyone. Then, in a break with tradition, the Bamboo Flute Quartet played a rearranged version of the theme from the West End musical, The Phantom of the Opera. It's nice to come back for the young artists to come back to Edinburgh French Festival. It's important for them to, um, for the international stage and also audience. They are not just performers, they also built up a bridge for culture and art uh, exchanges. From one culture to another, the Chinese dancers were followed by students from the Gordon Dance School showcasing traditional Highland Scottish dances. I think it's really good. It's nice how we put the different styles together and like show that there's like a difference in Chinese and Highland dancing. These China-Britain cultural links are not limited just to the Fringe Festival, with plans for year-round exchanges and cooperation, building bridges between the two countries through the power of art. Michael Voss, CGTN, Edinburgh.